Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the 2020 Chrysler Pacifica. Now for those of you who don't know, this car is a little near and dear to my heart, because I actually have to be, happen to be the owner of a 2006 Chrysler Town & Country. I know, call me crazy, but I've always kind of had a thing for these Chrysler minivans. So, we've been graced with this limited model here with the S Appearance Package. Got it here in this awesome blue. I'm gonna have to check on the window sticker what the name of this color is, but we're gonna take it around. I'm gonna show you all the cool features inside and out. Take it for a little test drive and try to convince you that this is one of the best new cars on the market here in this year of our Lord 2020. So let's start off in the back as we normally do. We've got this awesome multifunction key here. We can double tap this button, pop open the trunk. A lot of automated things here on this limited model. Not only is the liftgate powered, both side doors, that's pretty common, but these seats are as well. So if you look, because this has Chrysler's awesome stow and go system, these seats fold into the back. So you have this huge deep storage well back here. So even if you're carrying seven or eight people, You'd still have a good amount of room back here for a bunch of junk, strollers, or luggage, or anything like that. But then, you can press this button right here, and before your very eyes, the magic of automatic folding. Now, in my minivan, you do this part manually, and I honestly kind of prefer that, just because then I know it's never going to go bad. But this does work pretty slickly, if you want to use that term and these seats come nice and flat looks like the previous person uh, had this car got a little dirty but we can solve that because we have a vacuum cleaner in here pull this out oh I guess this is a little extension actually does it only work from up there I know there's a vacuum port up there as well what is back here this must be to get the tray out so what we can do actually come it's a little uh, spoiler alert here a vacuum system is this just a second nozzle what is this someone can probably tell me exactly what this one is for but you do have this that you can pull way way out and then get all your vacuum needs done there so let's actually slap let's toss these in the back toss that there and we'll bring this with us this away put this away on our stone back Come up here press this power button I don't know if it'll work when the car's off nope let's go start this up then come back here press on and we'll reach around from the back So you can just go like that. It's actually really strong on the press. And you can also press on these little attachments. Then you just tap that power button. Take these attachments. Put one right there. Put one right like that. And away she goes. So Stow and go seat demo for the second row. This part is not automated, but it's as simple as putting that in there, pulling that out, click, click, done. Same works over on the passenger side. So you can crawl in and you've just got acres and acres of room. Now, I've actually camped in a Pacifica before. It was really nice. I just slept back here. Tons of room to stretch out. You got the nice panoramic sunroof back there, as well as this one, which we'll open up here in a moment. That's new for 2020. So you can even look out over the stars, or under the stars, rather, while you're laying back in your Pacifica. Ultimate camping machine right here. So let's open this back up. 
pull up on the strap. It's very easy. It's kind of not quite hydraulic, but there's some springs or something in there that make it very easy to lift that up like that. And then you sort of pull that way. And then da da da. Put the driver's seat back here. And then go back here and put these back up. Hit normal. I <laughs> like that. Let's go test out the third row space. Right here. All right. So, crawling on back here, these captain's chairs in the second row are an option. So you can get just a three-seater bench third row if you were into that, if you needed eight seats for your Pacifica. This has seven-seater captain's chairs option. This third row reclines, power. So you can actually get quite comfortable. It goes really far back here. So I could just be straight chilling, even as an adult, five foot ten. Plenty of room. You've got some sun sunshades in the third row passengers. Very easy to use, clip style. No center armrest, but you do have cup holders over there. It looks like you got two plus a little storage area and a USB port. Over here, none of the such, but you've got the vacuum taking up a lot of that space. And like I said, you've got this thing. It's manual back here, but power up there. Some air vents as well. Up here in the second row, a great place to be in the Pacifica. You can manually recline these seats, get nice and comfortable as well. Actually, close this. I'm going to open this. It's a little bit better lighting for you guys. Plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. Oh, come on, keep going. Got sunshade back here as well. Some air vents, little coat hanger, dome light. And you've got these big, awesome rear screens that can do a lot of cool stuff and we'll go through a few of them here so you've got your blu-ray usb and then device streaming even which is really cool you can stream the screen of your devices then you've got all these apps that are kid friendly this are we there yet synchronizes with the navigation so if i had a root set it would actually tell the kid how far away they are so that's really cool can give them uh, notifications at, at set intervals, which is cool. You got tons of games like bingo, license plate game, math flashcards, solitaire, etc. But what I like is some of these games that are two player, you can actually play with the other screen over here. So you can see if I bring up checkers, this person can go, and then that translates over here, and this person can go. That goes over here. So it's really cool that two people can play against each other back here. We've spent a lot of time on road trips just kind of driving around with friends and everything, playing against each other on these screens. And you also have a remote control here, one for both seats, a nice little pocket for it so it doesn't get lost right away, and some wireless headphones. Very nifty. These seats have two armrests. And my goodness, is it comfortable back here. You could just hang out. You could be productive. You could be relaxed. It's all good in the Pacifica. So let's head on up front. Oh, heated seats back here as well. Two-stage heated seats. Even with the stow-and-go. How nifty. But front seat passengers get accoutrement as well. Let's turn off the AC for now. You hear how quiet it is, this V6 Pentastar motor. And this is just the ultimate road tripping vehicle. I actually did a 5,000 plus mile road trip from Michigan all the way out to Sonoma, California in a matter of five days there and back in a Pacifica hybrid. And it was excellent. It was so good. You have so much space here for snacks and drinks and devices and books and whatever you might need you've got good comfort from these seats really easy to use infotainment system great driving feel i like the steering wheel it's got the little metal ring around and then the nice leather around it 
And this rotary shifter, I think, is an excellent execution. Very easy to use. We'll get to that a little bit more. So let's see, you've got a big old compartment here. It's got some rubberized material, coin slots. You've got your Blu-ray disc drive right here. You've got some sort of compartment. Let me show you how deep it is with the phone here. It's grippy and it slides way in there so you can put a device there. And then you've got down here, big rubberized mat. It's a little Easter egg Chrysler likes to do if I bring it out. So you've got your four generations of Chrysler minivans here. The big old boxy one that kind of started it. Moving on up to the Pacifica. It's kind of neat. Got a little storage right here, also rubberized. And then down here, a big old bin with cup holders and a rubberized mat. I love how everything's rubberized and grippy. It's not going to rattle. Things aren't going to slide around. You can remove the things, clean them out. Very smart on Chrysler. It's got some memory seats, which is really nice to see here, so that two different drivers can automatically get in and set their seat and mirror preferences. Another thing that this van has that a lot of vans do not are actually slide down windows in the second row. Forgot to mention that back there, but that's really cool. And they also have their own climate controls back there, which most minivans have at this point. What else? Standard glove box. Everything's pretty standard fare on the passenger side. So let me set this to the map. There's a ton of things that Uconnect can do here. It's one of the best infotainment systems on the market. The screen looks great. Response time is good. Everything's easy to use, makes sense. You've got your 360 surround camera, which is really nice to see with this big old vehicle. Works well, good resolution. All right, let's get motoring. I like how even though L is at the end here, you actually have to push down on this a bit to get into L. So when you're just going straight from park to drive, you can just bloop, go until it doesn't go anymore. It's like the easiest way to shift a car ever. I love it. I love the Chrysler rotary knob. You know what, before we actually get on the road, I'm gonna pull to the side here get out the window sticker let you take a quick look I'll put it up on the screen just want to skim through make sure I didn't miss anything so we've got a total as tested price of just a hair under 50 grand for this Pacifica quite a bit but it really is pretty well loaded the only key thing it's missing which I'm kind of disappointed is the 20 speaker Harman Kardon sound system because that one sounds really good but this is ocean blue metallic exterior paint looks wonderful 3.6 liter V6, like I said, 9-speed automatic transmission. 19 city, 28 highway for fuel economy. Should be able to get over 20 miles to gallon mixed driving, no problem. I like that the climate controls here are manual, or physical buttons, I should say. You've got a nice knob right here for your fan speed, buttons for your dual zone climate, air conditioning, recirc, everything. It's optional to go through here in the infotainment screen, but it's nice that you don't have to. I appreciate that. In fact, you've got a lot of physical controls here in the center. You've got stop-start disabling for people who don't want that. You've got your traction control, parking sensors, automatic parking steering nice big easy to see display and easy to use that's what the Pacifica does really nicely is it just simplifies the driving experience because they know a lot of people driving this car are focusing on other things they're focusing on family they're focusing on their commute they're focusing on stuff and they just want the car to work and they want it to be as simple and seamless of a process as possible and I get it I love cars that require a lot from me. I mean, I like riding motorcycles. I like involved driving experiences. But there are times when you just want to get in a vehicle and have it be the last thing you got to worry about. The Pacifica is just about perfect for that. The reason I like to keep a Chrysler minivan around is because of that stow-and-go seating, it's the most versatile vehicle you can get. You can fit an amazing amount of stuff in there. I've fit full sectional couches, queen mattresses. I've fit eight people in my van. What else? Uh, moved desks and 
bikes. I mean, I could even fit my motorcycle in the back. I put a tarp down if I'm carrying something dirty. It kind of keeps the carpet back there clean. So for you to have a vehicle like this around, it can haul more people than a truck. Oftentimes it can haul more things than a truck. It's all dry, it's secure. Yeah, it might not look as cool and it might have the, not have the towing capabilities, but you can tow a little bit with this car. I'd have to look up the exact figure, but I assume it's around 5,000 uh, 5, pounds. And it's just so smooth and comfortable, easy to use. It's, it's really nice. I like having a minivan around and I, yeah, the Chryslers might have a little bit more questionable reliability than like a Toyota Sienna or a Honda Odyssey, but they're a little bit cheaper. They have a few more features. And at the end of the day, that patented stow and go is really the winner. It really is. They do an awesome job coming up with that. You know, something else that's surprising about the Pacifica is the chassis is actually really good. Back at Car and Driver, we had a long-term Pacifica gas motor like this, and it actually turned 0.89G on the skid pad, meaning it put it over a Civic SI with all-season tires for cornering. Isn't that crazy? Now, yeah, it's not going to feel light and lively. I mean, it's a big, heavy, tall, long vehicle, but you can actually really get around some corners quickly, and the chassis is much livelier than you'd expect. Let's get up on the highway here, hustle it around this on-ramp. I'll just kind of show you what I mean. Highway is a great place for the Pacifica. And one thing I really like that it has that Chrysler's been doing lately is it offers adaptive cruise control, but it's very easy to use standard cruise control as well. So you see right here on the right side of the steering wheel, up here you've just got normal cruise control. So you just press that, hit set, and then you're not doing any of the radar adaptive cruise control. It's just standard normal like any other car. Hit cancel, turn that off, turn this one on, now you've got ACC, Adaptive Cruise Control. So if I set this at 75, but this car in front of me is only doing 72, 71 or so, it slows down to meet that vehicle's speed. And then after this Yukon gets by, I'll hit the turn signal and it will speed up and get into the left lane. Well, I did that part technically, but then it adapts to that vehicle speed. So you see Yukon's going faster, now my car's going faster. Chrysler sister, Chrysler's system works pretty darn well, and it's cool to be able to have that option. I can change my following distance right here very easily, pretty far, pretty close. You've also got a very mild um, active lane keeping here. So with this button, that sort of does a, a light keeping me in my lane. And it's also a pretty good solution because it's not full autonomous, semi-autonomous driving like some cars have, but it's just enough nudge that if I kind of start to drift, the car kind of just encourages me to stay back in the lane, but it's not going to fully do it. If I just go like this, it'll go into the next lane, but as long as my hand's on the wheel, it's just a little bit of nudging and urging and keeping me centered. So it's nice to have, and if you don't like it, you just, bloop, done, off. Lane sense off. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this does not have the 20-speaker Harman Kardon sound system, but it does have the 13-speaker 500, I think it's 506 watt Alpine audio system. If you want to know more about that, click the link in the description for our sound system review to look at that system in depth. It's okay. I really wish it were the Harman system, but it's not. And you know, there are bigger issues in this world that we can get over. Blind spot monitoring is very nice to see when you're piloting a large vehicle like this. You just got to take a little peek over and once that orange triangle goes away, it's safe to turn lanes. Now I'm gonna really hustle it on this off-ramp here and try to give a little bit of space for this truck. You can just see how impressive the grip is on this car. Gotta slow down a bit because this truck's going very slow. I'm getting yanked 
banked over in my seat and I could have just carried that all the way right through if I didn't have to slow down because of this truck. But it's incredible, you can barely even hear this, the tire squealing. I, for one, really lament the minivan shaming that's kind of happened in our culture in the last 10, 15 years or so. No one wants to drive the big old ugly minivans that their parents did, but there's a reason they became so popular, and it's because they're so good. They're like the, the, the grown-up hatchback. You can even get them with all-wheel drive, you can get plug-in hybrid. It doesn't have to be a Pacifica. But I really recommend, if you need to haul a lot of things or a lot of people, you seriously check out a minivan. So, we're going to do a little 60 to 0 stop. 0 to 60. Very composed, straightforward, if a little long. nothing crazy for 0 to 60 acceleration, but it'll get up and out of its own way. It's decent. Believe it or not, you can hustle. Chrysler Pacifica. The center gauge area gives you a lot of information without providing information overload. They handle it really nicely. So you've got your standard digital speedometer here, flanked by a nice looking tack and analog speedometer there. You've got vehicle info like tire pressure, temperatures, all that good sort of stuff in case you need it. You've got driver assist information, fuel economy, trip info, both trip A and trip B, stop start info, your audio, any messages should you need an oil change or something like that. When the car stopped you can change the configuration of the screen. Then you can even set a speed warning if you want to set it so maybe anytime you exceed 80 miles per hour it chimes at you. And then right back to digital speedo. Just very easy, straightforward, simple interface and I like it. It's not like some of the other systems like in Toyotas where it's just all this information. I mean, you got gauges and meters and dials and it's just too much. Chrysler does a really good job at just making a vehicle good to use in daily driving situations. You'll notice there's no bright brushed chrome, or sorry, bright uh, shiny chrome anywhere in the vehicle here, so I'm not getting any sort of obnoxious reflections or light shining in my eyes. There's a little bit coming from this piano black material, but it's not bad. Another thing you'll notice is they use piano black plastic, but it's not where you're going to touch regularly, so you don't have to worry about it getting too scratched up. A lot of smart decisions here. All right. So if that didn't convince you, check out Pacifica. I don't know what will. So, still love this blue. I wish I could get this blue on every single car. There you have it. One of the best new cars on the market today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, please hit that subscribe and like button. Check out some of our other reviews. If you want to see more on the Pacifica, we're going to have a sound system demo, like I mentioned, and then we'll also be reviewing it against my old 2006 Chrysler Town & Country, just for kind of a silly little comparison video. So stay tuned for those. Links will be in the description when they're all up, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.